Okay, this video is about writing algebraic expressions. So we're going to start with this one. If the unknown cost of a taco is t, the variable t, and the unknown cost of a carton of milk is m, write an expression for the cost of, for the first one, three tacos and two milks. So there are two ways that you could do this. I think that's the best one. Okay, so we have three tacos, so taco plus taco plus taco, and two milks, so plus M plus M. Or, if you can, you should simplify. So how many tacos do I have? I have three tacos, so I can do three T, and I have two milks, so plus two M. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see that. Let's find a color that works better. So that's the first one. The other one, one taco, one milk, two tacos, one taco and one, one taco, one milk, and two tacos and one milk. So one taco would be T. Sorry, it's so hard to read that. So one taco plus one milk. And then two tacos and then one milk. And I think it wants it all together, so just all of those. So then how many tacos do I have? I have three tacos all together and two milks. So three T plus two M. Either one of those is acceptable, um, but it would be a good idea to simplify if you can. All right, so then we have one taco, four milk. So taco plus milk plus milk plus milk plus milk. And then all together, that would be one taco plus four milk. All right, then the next one is two tacos. So taco plus taco plus a milk and a $2 item, so plus two. And we have two tacos, two tea, plus one milk plus a $2 item. So there's our simplified version with our combined like terms, which we will be spending more time talking about later. All right, the next one. If the unknown distance of Cecil's jump is represented by J and the unknown distance of Cecil's hop is represented by H, rep write an expression for two jumps and two hops. Maybe red will be better. Okay, let's see here. Two jumps would be J plus J and two hops is H plus H. Or you could say two J plus 2h. The next one, one jump, three hops, and walking seven feet. So one jump is j, three hops would be h plus h plus h, and walking seven feet would be plus seven, which would also be, if we combine all those h's, we still have one j, we have three h's, and we have a seven. All right, number six, one jump, three hops, and two jumps. So one jump is J, three hops is H plus H plus H, and two jumps would be J plus J, which if we combine all those J's and H's, we have three J and three H's. And then we have walking six feet, so that'd be six, plus our three hops plus hop plus hop and two jumps. So plus j plus j. All together we have six plus our three h's plus our two j's. So there we go. That is writing algebraic expressions.